Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us today to talk about moving forward with Reverse. My name is Tabitha Addison. I am the Vice President of Business Development and Training with American Advisors Group. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kim Smith, and I am the Senior Vice President of Wholesale at American Advisors Group. Welcome to our call. Okay. So let's just jump into this. So why are we here today? Well, we wanted to share our awareness that there is a gap in millions of retirement plans. We're going to outline the needs facing Americans at or nearing retirement age and illustrate how reverse mortgages will be part of the solution. We're going to take a few minutes to cover the basics of a reverse mortgage and finally show you just how easy it is to increase your revenue while creating grateful clients in the process. So what is a reverse mortgage loan really? Well, we are looking at it today as a solution to a problem. What if there was a huge national problem facing many seniors in or near retirement age and you had the answer? Let's take a closer look at the retirement landscape to understand this further. Every generation experiences retirement differently. For the 77 million baby boomers, retirement will look different than their parents and grandparents before them. Specifically, if you look at the number of pension plans in the United States from 1983 to 2013, we went from 175,000 down to about 23,000. As a result of this reduction, few boomers will have a pension to supplement Social Security. Add to that increasing longevity risk and the cost of senior care, and you have a recipe for a potential retirement planning gap. We have 10,000 people turning 62 every day in the United States. Of those people in retirement age and entering retirement age, 97% do not make advanced plans for their eventual senior care needs. So let's focus a little more on the senior care aspect of retirement plans. 58% of men and 79% of women will require some form of long-term care in their lifetime. For married couples, the chance that one spouse will need long-term care rises to 91%. And let's take it a step further, looking specifically at senior care planning in retirement. So let's break it down and find out just how prepared our potential borrowers are. Let's do this by looking at some odds, okay? So the odds of your house being destroyed by fire are 1 in 1,200. So you ask, have you planned for this? Well, yes, most of us have our homeowner's insurance. Next one. The odds of your car being totaled in a car accident are 5 in 1,200. Now, have you planned for this? Well, yes, in the form of car insurance. The odds of being hospitalized are 250 in 1,200. And have we planned for this? Well, yes, most Americans have some sort of health insurance. So we can see here that our odds are increasing with each example, of which most we are sure you will agree are common situations that most of us find ourselves in. So let's look at one more. The odds of you needing long-term care increased to a staggering 720 in 1,200. So again, have you planned for this? Well, for most, the answer is no. Now at this point, you might be thinking, are they selling long-term care or reverse mortgages? The reality is most have not purchased long-term care insurance and cannot afford it. What is important to understand is that the need and the solution is at your fingertips in the form of a reverse mortgage. Now, there are many different approaches with your prospects when it comes to the reverse mortgage product. The need for long-term care is just one angle. While the senior care planning statistics are staggering, the over $4 trillion in home equity held by seniors can be part of the solution. The HECM program, or Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, is an FHA loan uniquely designed to provide access to that equity, meet retirement income needs, 
and all while allowing seniors to age in place. So let's take a minute and understand the basics of a reverse mortgage loan. To qualify for a reverse mortgage loan, all borrowers must be 62 years of age or older. It is important to remember that the reverse mortgage loan is simply a lien on the property, and contrary to some common misconceptions, the borrower does not lose ownership of their home. Reverse mortgage loans can only be done on a borrower's current primary residence or a home that is being purchased as a primary residence. For the property to qualify for a reverse mortgage loan, it must meet HUD guidelines. And finally, similar to forward mortgages, the borrower must be able to prove their financial ability and willingness to pay their property taxes, homeowner's insurance, and home maintenance, along with any applicable HOA fees. In addition, the borrower cannot be delinquent on any federal debt. Now that we understand the basics of a reverse mortgage loan, as well as the potential retirement planning needs facing many seniors, let's look at a sample financial plan. So in your 40s, you might be paying for things like college tuition. In your 50s, perhaps a wedding. For some of us, maybe several weddings. Now in your 60s, you may be thinking about retirement, maybe around the age of 65, getting that beautiful boat you've been working towards. And then you're surprised by some unexpected care expenses and had no plans. Now let's look at how a reverse mortgage might enhance the financial plan we just looked at. Now we still experience the tuition, the weddings, and the desire to retire at a reasonable age and comfort. Now when any unexpected expenses arise, simply plug in a reverse mortgage. Now Patty and Bob, both 63, were on their way to a comfortable retirement at the age of 65 when unexpected expenses arose for their parents' senior care. Now they could be going from a retirement at 65 to an unknown retirement age. Now they own their home, which is worth $300,000, and owe about $50,000. They are able to pay off their current mortgage and access an additional $109,000 in available reverse mortgage proceeds. This access to equity allowed them to maintain their retirement planning track while assisting their parents with their senior care needs. This example showed us how adult children assisting parents can use the reverse mortgage to cover parents' senior care needs. Now the reverse mortgage is also a tool for the parents directly who want to remain in their home but need some help for in-home care. So let's look at Margaret. Margaret is 75 and a widow. She recently fell sustaining some injury about five months ago and needs some in-home care. She does not want to move out of her home, but she cannot afford her home care on Social Security. Margaret owns her home free and clear, and it's worth about $500,000. Margaret has access to about $315,000 in reverse mortgage proceeds, and as we will get to in a moment, she can place those funds in a line of credit and draw them as needed to pay for in-home care. So as you can see, the home equity is part of the solution, and the reverse mortgages are the mechanism to access those funds. Now, as we just alluded to in the example with Margaret, the funds can be dispersed in a variety of ways. So let's take a closer look at the disbursement options for a reverse mortgage loan. Option one, reverse mortgage proceeds can be paid out in a lump sum. The program limits the initial disbursement in year one to 60% of the available principal or their mandatory obligations plus 10%. After year one, the borrower can, borrow, can draw the money any way they choose. Option two, proceeds can also be set up in monthly installments, either tenure or term. Tenure means the borrower gets a set monthly payment to them for as long as they live in the home and meet the obligations of the HECA. A term payment is a larger dollar amount paid to the borrower for a set number of months. The final option is the line of credit. 
Now this is probably the most powerful and misunderstood feature of the HECM program. The line of credit provides available proceeds to the borrower that can be drawn as they choose. The line of credit does not accrue interest. And the available line of credit grows. Of course, you can use any combination of the payment plans I just mentioned to design a loan to best meet each individual borrower's specific needs. So let's talk a little bit more about the line of credit growth. The unused amount of line of credit will grow at the same rate being charged on the used portion of the loan. This equates to the note rate plus 1.25%. So your borrowing capacity is actually increasing with time. So not only do you have access to a product with an untapped market, less than 2% of those that qualify for a reverse mortgage actually have one, you also have flexible disbursement options and an exponential growing need. But you also have some nice earning potential. So let's take a look at that. As the originator on the loan, here's how you'll get paid. First off, you can collect an origination fee. Then you can receive premium on the principal balance of the loan. The more money that is tied up as principal when the loan closes, the more interest is going to accrue on the loan, and this is what drives how much you will make. So let's look at an example. With Patty and Bob that we were talking about earlier, they were paying off their existing mortgage and leaving their proceeds in a line of credit. The unpaid principal balance or loan balance is approximately $60,000 in this example. The origination fee calculation for HECM loans is 2% of the first $200,000 in home value and 1% of the next $200,000 in home value with a maximum origination fee set by HUD at $6,000 and a minimum at $2,500. With a home value of $300,000 for Patty and Bob, the max allowable origination fee in this example is $5,000. And approximately $6,000 in broker compensation based on the estimated unpaid principal balance at closing and the current secondary market pricing for the product. This gives us a total estimated income on this loan of about $11,000. Okay, <clears throat> so let's do a progress check on what we've covered. First, we shared just one of the many different ways to approach this product in building it around the need for long-term care. We reviewed the basics of qualifying for a reverse mortgage, we showed you the different ways that funds are able to be dispersed and provided some insight to the line of credit options. And of course, we just reviewed the broker compensation. So before we finish up today, let's leave you with some food for thought and some recommendations on next steps. Now obviously we have no idea if you're a good fit to jump into the conversion mortgage market. We do know that getting into reverse mortgages is the best way to increase your earning potential by entering a segment of the mortgage market that is untapped. Now start thinking about all of your networking opportunities with past and forward mortgage clients. Each client represents two to five, or could represent two to five new reverse mortgage customers. Each client could also introduce you to their advisors and tax professionals. Now at AAG, we are picky about who we partner with and we'll need to get to know you to help determine if this revenue source is a good fit. We also know that interest in reverse mortgages by traditional originators is growing. Now we know we only scratch the surface of reverse mortgages today, and we can only set up and train so many new brokers each month, and you are going to want to work with us. Why? Well, for one, we are the largest HECM lender in the country, that means that we have the knowledge and the tools to help you be successful. We offer industry-leading, comprehensive product and sales training so that you can quickly come up to speed on how best to position these loans with you and your prospects. 
Our dedicated account executives are highly trained specialists with Heckam Loans, and they will be happy to coach you every step of the way to be sure that you are saying and doing the right things throughout the lending process. We have a powerful library of online resources that include product guidelines, alerts, FAQs, and much more. And finally, we give you free access to Reverse Vision's lending platform. Reverse Vision is the most widely used reverse loan origination system in the market, and it makes your job as an originator easy to understand the loan options and to explain how things work with your borrowers. So where are we now? Just a simple call to action. So we've broken it down into a four-step plan. Step one, simply deciding is this the right fit. Once you've made that decision, we want to go ahead and get you started with the approval process, get you supported with that education that we talked about a few moments ago, and then, of course, roll it all into your marketing opportunities. Ready to get started? All you need to do is reach out to this gentleman, Fraser Todd, our Director of Wholesale Strategy, and he will connect you with one of our seasoned and experienced account executives to get you going with your approval process and answer any other questions you may have. So all that's left for us to do right now from Kim and I is to thank you very much for taking your time to watch this presentation today, and we look forward to doing business with you soon.